There you go. Welcome to Patrick Gilligan Live. I'm Patrick Gilligan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys. How are you today? I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful Saturday. As uh, you know, I was, I was uh, posting before that you guys were here um, for the last couple weeks. I think a uh, couple of days I have the girls coming. So thank you very much for all my girlfriends who came and have a makeover done. But today we have a special guest over here, which is Patrick Gilligan. And I have, thank you so much for taking oh, the welcome. time today to come. And it's an honor to me to be with this man right here because he is wonderful. You guys don't have no idea what, um, who I'm sitting with. And I just want you guys to know that this is an amazing experience. Thank and, you. Oh, you're welcome. By the way, I have an announcement. We are changing the title of this broadcast to, are you ready? Are you sitting down? <laughs> are, are you ready? I guess they are. The Chica from Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. You he heard had. it here, folks. You heard it here. Uh, can you believe that? So now we have, um, as the, you know, we were talking about it. We always say hello to everybody who sure. comes in. Sure. So, do you know what? Can you read it from here? Who we have going on? Uh, Linda Nelson Hypio? Hip Hypio? Something like that? <laughs> right, Linda? <laughs> Linda is such a wonderful lady, and uh, I Cheers. have a, a very honored Cheers. meeting both of them. And then uh, we also want to say hello to Juan Carlos. He always is following us every time that we are live video, and he's from Costa Rica. Hey, Carlos. Linda? So. I'm so glad you guys are here, and, um, so, oh, I didn't get my sip. Yeah. You can't get your sip. Mm-hmm. Oh. Gotta, have, gotta have nourishment, folks. Yes, I'm shaking. Can you see it? So, anyway, Patrick, we're going to talk about something very special today. Okay. And it's something that i really um, excited to share with all of you. Mm. And uh, you want to tell us what we're here today, and... Well, I think we're going to talk about entrepreneurship, and uh, a while back I wrote a little book called Patrick Gilligan Says Be Your Own Boss. Mm -hmm. I just happen to have a copy right here, as a matter of fact. Here's the, here's the book, guys. That's what it looks like. Very nice. Thank you. And hopefully we can give some ta practical tips to the viewers about starting their own business, being their own boss. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to chime in on Facebook there, and we're happy to answer them. But I wrote the book a number of years ago. I had a little radio show of my own. Not as good as this one, obviously. Oh, come on. I have to learn a lot from this guy right here. So. But I, I was lucky. I got to interview people like Larry King and Tony Robbins and Paul Harvey. A lot of you folks are probably too young to know who those people are. Uh, locally, like Mel Farr, Florine Mark, Art Van, those kind of folks. I learned a little bit about entrepreneurship. And uh, uh, I've had a couple of businesses along the way, an insurance business, an energy business. And uh, so I've had some fun. And I got to interview some celebrities like, like Leah here. Oh, yeah, right. Ha, someday. But well, thank you. You're a celebrity, so, so I am just like, woo -hoo. <laughs> There you go. I need some of that. <laughs> so I had some fun. Uh, again, your audience is probably so young. Would they know who Ed McMahon was? I think so, tonight, right, guys? Tonight I think show, some Johnny of you. Carson. Yep. Had him on the show. Uh, Jack Lane, big fitness guy. Uh, he was on the show. And uh, so I got to meet a lot of interesting folks. And... Uh, uh, but Leah, I want to learn more about you. Oh no, it's not about me today. No, no. no. What are you talking I about? I try, I try, I try. <laughs> I try to reflect it. I right? Try, try to Yo, it. shoot you. You almost skip it right there. Well, that's okay. So, I mean, you guys know a little bit about me. You so know I, a little. I've had a little fun. Uh, I did the radio show for a number of years. Had a TV show, and I have a rather dubious distinction of hosting a couple of late night TV infomercials. There was a guy years ago. Did the no money down real estate infomercials on TV, and by a fluke, they ended up interviewing me. I reviewed his course uh, for the show, my radio show, and I had one of his millionaire students on my show. They brought a film crew into the station. They interviewed me and put me on the, their national TV infomercial. And then I said about a year later, they called me and said, "You look kind of good on TV." Remember that was years ago, folks. I was I was better, looking, still dude, I was better right? looking back Come then. Come on, yeah. Anyway, they asked me to host a show. <laughs> Flew me to Chicago, put me up at a five-star hotel. I shot the thing in a TV studio. So I had some fun hosting this late-night TV infomercial. And uh, 
And then years later, another company called me, flew me to Florida. I hosted a show for them. So I host an infomercial about once every 10 years. I'm about due for one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's about time, huh? About Again, time. <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll co-host. We'll co-host the next one. Maybe there you go. Maybe right. Yeah. Leah and Pat. Exactly. Leah and Pat. Yeah. So tell us about uh, how you got involved doing your makeup. Oh my gosh, you're something else, then Joan. He's a smarty pants over here. But um, okay, I'll do a little bit of that, but then I'm gonna go back a couple questions I have for you. Okay. What about that? Deal? I, I need a drink. Okay, me too. Hey, Cheer, cheers. cheers again. Salud. Salud. Salud, Salud amigos. Salud, amigos. Salud, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. mm. Chica, the Chica from Costa Rica. Right? La Tica from Costa Rica. Mm. Mm. I change it a little bit. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say over here is, um, oh, I'm talking about Costa Rica. Somebody just uh -oh. come up watching from Costa Rica. Hello. Katia. Hola, Katia. ¿Cómo estás? Buenas tardes. Uh, un placer. Un besito. Mwah. So what, um, uh, as far as the makeup, it was like years, years ago. I started back home and then... Um, and when I came to Michigan. <laughs> How did you come to Michigan? How did you get here? Oh my gosh, that was a, a long time ago. It was like, what, 18 years ago, I believe? You were like 12 years old? No, I Ten. wish. Thanks. 10? 10, right? Five? Yeah, okay. in my dreams. Okay. So what happened was, um, then I was involved with a little bit of that TV and radio. Mm -hmm. I was actually, I was a radio host for a little while. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me guess, the Chica from Costa Rica. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, I was uh, working for um, a little funny program at Channel 2. Mm -hmm. And then I went to interview one of the fan clubs for a rock band and Channel 4. Ah. And then I ended uh, being a TV host for a little bit for Channel 19. Wow. So that's a little bit of the background there. So I, I, I can learn from you. And I can learn from you, see? So, and then um, everything else, I just came to Michigan and I went start working at Macy's and uh, a lot of you know that I was there for a couple of years and that was about it. And then I took my passion to the next level and now I have my makeup business that calls Face First Makeup Artist Company. You're right so, good. Yeah. So, well, see? I had a few businesses along the way. I had an insurance business many years ago. I started... I worked for a couple different HMOs 20, nice. 20 years ago. I got lucky. I ended up being the top salesperson of both HMOs. And I hope they gave you a good commission too. Well, I had a salary plus commission. Oh. And then um, I was a 30-year-old VP of marketing. I was just got my MBA, 30-year-old VP of marketing for a hospital. I decided I wanted to do my own thing, so I started my own insurance business selling HMOs. And at that time, they were brand new, so I sold HMOs to businesses. And then I started an energy business about 10 years ago. And... Uh, been doing that. I like that because it's all over the phone and the internet. I call on companies all around the country and I get them a better price for electricity and natural gas and they sign with me for one, two, three, four years so it's commissions coming in every every month for years. Nice. So I like that. Wow. Yeah. Now I have a, a couple questions. Oh, first of all, we're going to say hi to a few more people who just came. Joseph Lechora. Marsha. Oh, Marsha is watching and Joseph is a friend of mine from Detroit. Right. So, and then Grisette, she's watching too, mm -hmm. and she's a Spanish lady as well, mm -hmm. wonderful mom. Amarsha, how are you, my darling? <laughs> so, um, as I understood, you were in the U.S. Army. I was. I joined, yeah. joined the Army when I was 18, and I spent a couple years at Fort Hood, Texas, two years in Frankfurt, Germany. Got the GI Bill, paid for my college, and uh, had health care through the VA, so I had a, a pretty a good experience with that. Wow. Yeah. So how long you stay in the army for? Four and a half years. Four and a half years? I drove up when I was 18, right? Oh my goodness. And do you remember like exact, like what was the first thing that you did when you got there? Well, and I remember. what was the place actually? I was at Fort Leonardwood, Missouri for basic combat training. And uh, I remember the first few days I thought to myself, this is nuts. This is crazy. I'll never get through this. And then about a week later, you think this isn't so bad. Uh, so you adjust to it. So the Army was a good experience for me. I got to travel, got some education, and uh, a little maturity, hopefully, along the way. A little bit. A little bit. So. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. You know, you guys see Patrick right here, but actually he's 
amazing. I have a lot to learn from him. And that, uh, you know, I hope one day I can say those things that he's saying about all that about entrepreneurship. What about what shows you hosted back in Costa Rica? Yeah. You were a big star in Costa Rica. That was years ago. Do you still remember me? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. It's like it was yesterday. Right? Now, um, <clears throat> We were talking also, like, you were in the TV commercials, right? Did we talk mm -hmm. about that one? That was the national TV. Mm -hmm. Do you have any fun experience you want to share with us? Like, any, like, it happened to you, like, something, like, you know, sometimes we have those experiences in life. Like, we said, oh, my gosh, I do remember when I used to be little. Well, and here's, an, here's an experience that might help your listeners, uh, maybe or maybe not. Um, after I was in the first infomercial, and then I was on TV for a while and it's an infomercial. They called me and said, okay, we want you to host this show. We had a good response to you on the infomercial. I want, we want you to host our national show. I said, okay, great. And I said, well, this sounds good. I said, what were you thinking about paying me? And they said, paying you? I said, oh, yeah, dinero, mucho money. <laughs> and they said, well, you've had all this national exposure. And he said, we're giving you more national TV exposure. And I said, I've already had national exposure and I want some dinero. Yeah. So they said, look, we can get a lot of people to do this. You know, there are a million guys that would give their right arm to host our show. And I said, why don't you call one of them? So they, they blinked. They came back and wrote me a nice check. Nice. But sometimes you got to stand your ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah. So now we're going to say um, hi to Elba. Como estas? Uh, then we have Dania Phillips. Then we have Shana and Jack, Jack Smith. Hi, how are you guys? Hey guys. Thank you for watching us today. So, and Shana say hi back to us. Welcome, in case you just joined us, welcome to the Chica from Costa Rica show. <laughs> this is the Chica, Leah. Yeah, he just came up with that. I, I just okay. thought of this, just came up. He just thought of it, he's right. very smart. Oh. We are going to um, talk a little more about his book, mm -hmm. which is, I am so excited. And I want all of you um, to pay attention to this one because if you start your own business or if you currently in business or you have a dream to have your own business, this is something that, you know what, people pay him to share this and he's doing it to us. Just for free. Oh, I hope so. Right, I'm such a, I'm such a, nice, I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> so we're gonna have a couple of minutes to talk There's about the it. Mm -hmm. There's the book. Now we wanna talk a little bit of the book. What inspired you to make a book like this? Well, at the time, as I mentioned, I had my own radio show uh, interviewing entrepreneurs, and I had a couple of businesses myself. And when people would come on the show, their press agents would send me their books. So I read all these books, plus courses. That's why I got in the Carl and Cheats thing through the infomercial, because they sent me his course. So I read a lot of books. I reviewed a lot of courses. I took that knowledge, plus the little knowledge I had from running my own business, and wrote the book. And it's kind of a common sense thing. One more quick story. Uh, my girlfriend Linda and I were at a party, a summer party, a few months after the book came out. And someone had mentioned my book, and the lady at the party said, hey, can I see a copy of the book? And my girlfriend uh, took my book out of her purse, let the lady take it, and she went away and read it for like 20 minutes, half an hour. She came back and she goes, this thing is full of common sense stuff you'd never in a million years think of. Where can I buy the book? So I'm glad you asked. Amazon.com has it. So, so we've gotten a lot of good feedback, a lot of good common sense stuff. That is wonderful. Yeah. And then... Uh, so you guys know, now over here, and the book is all about to help an entrepreneurs, oh, what is an entrepreneur? You know, and there's half other ones like, why become an entrepreneur? Yeah, it's all about entrepreneurship, how to do marketing, finance, get your ideas, should you be an entrepreneur, there's a quiz in there, that kind of, and resources too. That's wonderful. Yeah. So for you guys to know, if you want to get a copy of this book, and you can go to Amazon.com, and then when they go there, what they're looking for? Patrick Gilligan say, "Be your own boss." Yes, it's hum humbly titled. Patrick Gilligan says, "Be your own boss." Just to explain that quickly, yes. it was a very slow news day in Detroit. The Detroit Free Press came out to my little radio station where I was doing my show, 
and they did a story on me, big picture, big story, full page story. And the headline of the Detroit Free Press was, Patrick Gilligan says, be your own boss. And I thought, hey, if the Free Press is going to use that for a title or a headline, it's a good title for the book. It is. And you see Very it right, catchy. See it right here. It's the actual Detroit Free Press headline. So, oh, yes. It says right on it. We're so, going to put a little closer so you guys can see it. There you go. So, that uh, use that for the title for the book. And, uh, by the way, one quick funny story while I'm thinking of it. I have a chapter in the book about starting a home-based business. It's key. When you start your own home-based business, tell your family you're working. One day, hot summer day, I'm on the phone in my home office. I'm on the phone with a vice president like Dow Chemical, a major company. And my mother, God, God rest her soul, was walking down the sidewalk. And she saw me on the phone standing through the window on the phone with this vice president. And she yells, Patrick, can you take me to McDonald's? <laughs> I, I, I was Smith, I've got an important phone call. Can you hold on a second? Mom, I'm on the phone. What are you doing? I said, I'm working. Why can't you take me to McDonald's? Mom, I'll talk to you later. So I needed to tell her I'm working nine to five. So make sure you tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, you don't yeah. want your family to soon. Like yeah. today, we're trying to get a lot of set up yeah. so that way we can have a nice and peace, peace and quiet right. environment. Right. You guys won't believe it's two dogs and two children in this house today. That's right. Right? That's right. So I, it's something in this book. I, You know what? When Patrick said he has his girlfriend and um, Linda, this lady, I'm telling you, she's so sweet. I kind of like her She's too. She's very smart. You better be. Yeah. Because I think he really loves this woman. Mm -hmm. Because in the dedication and the book, she he wrote a special thanks goes to Linda Nelson, whose support and encouragement made this book possible. How sweet is that? Yeah. How long have you guys been together, by the way? Oh, we've been together. What's it been? It's been over six months, I think, right? In the six months? 17 years. 17 years. I don't want to rush into anything, guys. 17 years. Oh, my gosh. She's, she's, a, um, she's a great she lady. Needs, she needs... Um, she's a great lady. By the way... She needs... I want to tell me mention on the back of the book, there's a lot of celebrities that endorse the book. <laughs> you just changed the just topic. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's thinking he's smart, but I'm <laughs> smart too, so I know that he can change it so quick. For those, of you, for those of you fans of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series... Oh, yeah. off, the author, Mark Richard Hansen, endorsed my book right here. You can learn about um, you can learn a lot about entrepreneurship from Patrick Gilligan if you just come away with a great idea. It could change your life. Mark Victor Hansen co-authored Chicken Soup for, for the, the Soul, Soul yes. series. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we definitely going to um, promote this book. You guys, it's a lot of material in here. If you start your own business or want to become an entrepreneur, please, you know, take a look at it because it's just wonderful. I want to say hello to a few people right now, which they are watching. I'm sorry that we try to catch up a lot of info right now. So my aunt from Costa Rica, Tia Lilian, hola, como estas? Hi, Tia. We have Dorothy. She's watching. And we have uh, Selena. She's watching a Mar Mac. Hey, how are you doing? Hola, como estas, amigo? He's from Costa Rica, too. Hola, so, hola, que tal? So, and then uh, we also just got Simone enjoying us as well. Hi, Simone. Kids love the school, by the way. So, thank you so much, you guys, for uh, doing this and be part of it. We have a couple minutes. We have like a little, a few more minutes left, mm -hmm. which I want to do mm -hmm. just for those who just came and start watching us again. We're here with Patrick Gilligan and he is the author for this wonderful book. It goes, Patrick Gilligan says, uh, be, your be your own, own boss. boss. Be your own boss, yeah. And it's totally recommended. And I telling you guys, please go to amazon.com and take a look at this book. You can order the book, and it's a lot of information here. That and if you need high quality makeup services, <laughs> right here. There you go. Yeah, you guys know we're gonna do that one next time. We will talk about the makeup services. In fact, That's on right. Monday, I'm going to see the director for the theater in Sterling Heights at 6 p.m. So wow. if he wants to see all my pictures done before and after, thank you ladies for coming and 
have your pictures in makeup done by me and thank you for um see if i would have someone like her doing my makeup all those years i'd be a star by now well you have no wrinkles i'm not just kidding <laughs> <laughs> you have no wrinkles anyway <laughs> and then i want to see if we can bring this lady here because um i mentioned her in the book but i know she also want to be behind the scenes linda you want to come over here one second oh she doesn't she's kind of shy. So shy she's shy She's so shy. That's okay. Oh, she's not coming here, but we come over there. So if you see, she, Linda's in the back over there. She's just cover and she's just cover. saying hi. Yeah. yeah. She's just like, oh, no, no, please. I'm just joking. Thank you so much, Patrick, for coming well, yeah. with me Thank today. You. And, Thank you. Oh, my God. This is a very nice pleasure having him today. So it's just, um, I, I wish I can keep um, saying hello to everybody. And I know more people start coming in. Laura, thank you for watching. Uh, we have Tyler Diente. All right. Can I just so, say, too, uh, folks, if you want to get the book, it's at Amazon.com. Amazon.com. And if you want to contact me, my email address is through my company, Expert Energy. So it's expertenergy at AOL.com. Expertenergy at AOL.com is my email. In case you want to contact me, have any questions relative to I will write it down yeah. so it will be nice. So it is that expert expert energy at AOL.com. Expert energy at AOL.com. By the way, I do one on one consulting with people that want to start their own business, kind of entrepreneurial consulting. If you're interested in that, please uh, email me and I'd be happy to follow up with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you guys have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this fabulous Saturday. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Leah. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. Love you all, like always. Adios. Ciao.